Hey, what is going on everybody and welcome to Fantasia for today. We're going to be jumping into another session of Epic 7 now today. Gosmar TA for you guys. So jumping into this session here, we're going to see what we can do with Abigail. Been testing her out here and there in some games off camera, just try to get a feel for how she can work in uh, some teams, but you really got to be very careful with how you pick Abigail. She seems to be good in protect the tower type of teams, but if you're just trying to go for a general standard like team here, it might not work all too well, especially if your opponent picks a lot of control units, and this one I'm finding is that if you go for an Abigail early, people are going to pick the DDRs, a Tywins, all that stuff into you. They're also just really popular units right now anyway, so she's going to struggle a little bit, kind of like Alencia, right? If you're going up against those type of control units, you're not going to have a really good time, but this guy actually ends up opening with the DDR. It's okay. We can fight that. We'll go with Lionheart Sermia with the DDR here. The reason why we're going for Lionheart Sermia is because I want to go for a uh, Dragon King Sharoon. So if I go for Dragon King Sharoon and he goes for any sort of uh, counter attack unit, any sort of extra attack, you see like for example a belly in there, it's going to be good for us, right? Uh, we can potentially we can potentially do this with Defense Break and uh, Cleave with Lionheart. Now, since we're trying to Cleave with Lionheart here, we might as well throw Abigail into the mix. We can potentially protect the Lionheart in the back line, which is very nice. This team also seems like it's pretty vulnerable to a high damage um, nuke that doesn't penetrate defense. So something like Wukong could work here quite well. Something like Selene can work as well. Um, just gotta be a little bit careful though. There's, oh, there's so many knights, oh my god. We're gonna ban Aeola. We're definitely going to ban Aeola here, but what's a very hard-hitting unit? Oh boy, we need a very hard-hitting unit. It doesn't care about sleep and stuff. Oh, I guess Bologna could be okay. Bologna could be okay, Abyssal Euphine probably not as much, but yeah, Lone Crest and Bologna seems like the way to go here. Lone Crest and Bologna and Lionheart are both really good units for Abigail to be protecting, so we'll get rid of the Aeola. He might get rid of a Tywin, who's my only damage mitigation unit. But that's also one of the good things about Abigail, is that if you have her, and you don't have damage mitigation, it's fine. If the backline unit takes lethal damage, you get immortality and vampirism to try to heal yourself back up. Right, so it's not terrible. She also cleanses the backline unit now. That was part of her balance patch. So she can't- your team can't get screwed over by unbuffable, and as I'm saying that... As I'm saying that... What an absolute coward, huh? That sucks. Wow. Here, and here I was, thinking I set up a perfect Abigail game. Nope. 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 Guys, blame my opponents. Yeah, blame whoever this Korean player is in this guild with a guild crest. Probably a pretty good player. Um, all we wanted to do was have some fun with Abigail. Alright, it's okay. Uh, it's a 32 uh, KHP Bellion, so it's probably actually going to be a 3F Bellion on speed set. Oh, never mind, it actually deals- oh shoot, it's an Injury Bellion, never mind. Injury Bellion, it did look like she did extra damage though. Oh shoot, this Senya's gonna hurt too. Who's he going for? Oh, he's just trying to kill the Tywin right away. That is not very good. I don't really like that, honestly. Illanov's gonna go, oh yeah, this is not great. Um, he could go into the A Tywin again. Should make him quite useless. Yep, he's going for the A-Town, he's just putting as much injury down as possible. I could go for an S3, I don't know if this Bellion's on Elbrus, I don't think so, right? She's on injury set, I think she was on 3F, so... Okay, we got the defense breaks, that's nice. Um, I might as well just rip an S3 because A-Town's gonna die anyway, so I'm gonna try to get some stuns. We defense break the Ilanov too, nice, that's exactly what we needed. So Ilanov already cleansed, so it doesn't really matter. He can soul burn and kill the A Tywin here, detonate the injury, that is perfectly fine. At this point, all I really care about is uh, trying to kill off all these defense broken units. So, let's go first for the Dragon Bride Senya. DDR, I think we can hold off on for now, just because we do have Dragon King Shirun to help cleanse and stuff. Okay, Lionheart's gonna go. He doesn't have any counter units, which is kind of sad. <laughs> we picked her a little too early, but it's all good. Alright, let's go for a stun here on the Ilanov. Can we actually get it? Nope, no stun there. 
Everyone's gonna lose their turn. Ilanov's gonna go. Oh no, Ilanov doesn't go. Okay. Let's try to stun the Ilanov. Oh, nice dual attack. Not that I really wanted a Tywin to dual attack out of all units. But hey, wait, actually, that was pretty good. It took away the souls from him. Ooh, yes, very, very nice. It is not a damage Ilanov. That's good. Let's go ahead and provoke her. Or not. I mean, whatever, you know, I didn't really want to provoke her. Or anything. We have a Valor Senya. That's really strong. Alright, let's try to kill the Senya here so that we can at least... There we go. We can at the very least have Bologna now. She has her fighting spirit. Uh, Tywin is dead. Bologna now has her vigor buff. She got her immunity stripped, but now we can deal damage to the Bologna in the back... Or the belly in the back line without having to worry all too much. Uh, Ilanov has one more turn until she has her skills. That's A-OK. -okay. It's gonna sleep us, we're gonna push up, fantastic. Can we stun? Please, we have 185 effectiveness, or not, it's fine. No, like I needed it or anything. Okay, he's gonna try to kill Sharoon. Uh, because he's trying to kill Sharoon here, we really gotta try killing DDR as soon as possible, otherwise we're gonna be in a little bit of trouble. The Cascade buff is actually the thing that finished off the, uh, the Illin out there, which is really good. I don't think DDR can kill. Oh yeah, oh actually we just killed him. Wow, Dragon King Sharoon, your cascade is insane! Extra attack? If he extra attacks he'll be great. Because one, it'll give Bologna a ton of stacks. Aw, oh, shoot. And I was gonna say, it would also give Lionheart, um... It will also give Lionheart her proc. But hey, Lionheart doesn't need to do anything. Bologna's kinda of carrying this right now. Oh my god, resisted? Hang on. There's no way. We have like 185 effectiveness. How are we not doing this? Okay, Bologna has... I think Bologna has max stacks right now, so she's gonna be dealing a ton of damage. Can Lionheart... okay, well... We don't even get to see if Lionheart can do it, because my opponent concedes. This is what you get for banning my Abigail, right? This is what you get. Shame on you. We wanted to see something fun with the units that got buffed, and you said no. And then instead we got a Lionheart, who also got buffed, but she was useless that match. <laughs> Oh, that was a cute little profile banner thing there. Um, Alright, let's keep going, let's keep going. What have we got? What have we got? After ban- and since banning BBK, I will say my opponents are playing a lot slower now, so it is a lot more fun and manageable. Um, having to fight aggro and cleave every single match when you're trying to play test slower units is kind of a pain sometimes. So that's one of the reasons why I have BBK pre-banned along with New Moon Luna, right? This guy banned Knockwall, but he does pick a Tywin. I'm a little iffy about the a Tywin first pick here and then letting him get away with it because he, has, uh, he hasn't banned ML Politis. So we're going to take the ML Politis so that we have a way to kind of counteract this a Tywin here. I do want a form of Cleanser as well. I don't want to pick LRK for immunity just because Ilanov is a thing, but... Maybe we go LRK. Maybe we go LRK. We just need immunity, right? Or I guess hand guy could also work. Yeah, I guess we can go hand guy. We can go for the handmans. Oh, you know what? No, no, no. We go we go straight for Abigail. That's what we do. We go straight for Abigail here. We go straight for Abigail because if I want to pick hand guy, I can pick him later, right? But I also want to have the ability to ban protect someone. Okay, yeah, see for example here, we know he's going double sleep units, so if we go for something like a Dragon King Sharoon, we don't need Hand Guy on our team. Oh, please go for Landy. Please, do it. This is like so common right now, I'm seeing DDR A Tywin, Navy Captain Landy. I, I never used that team really in last season, I used a lot of A Tywin DDR together, but I'm not a huge fan of Navy Captain Landy, I feel like she's not that good without the RNG. If you take it, if, if the opponent's unlucky, they're just not gonna proc and they're not gonna win, just like when you see me pick Navy Captain Landy and she never procs and I never win. Um, <laughs> if he goes for a third support unit here, that's kind of bad. For him, because it's going to be hard to draft out of that. You need two very strong DPS carries back here. Earth Selene is fine. We can still go uh, Lionheart Sermia. We can still go for Dragon King Sharoon. So Lionheart Sermia does have an AoE. So we should be able to deal quite a bit of damage here. We, and if she's on the back line of Abigail, if Selene goes into Lionheart with an S2 and an S3, she still can't kill. We have the immortality. So we'll still be fine. Um... Genoa picked up. Ooh, okay. I don't really like that Genoa there, so we're probably going to get rid of him. What else would I like to open up with? 
Who else would be a good unit to open up with? Maybe a faster... Oh, do we need a faster unit? I don't think so. We need another good damage unit. That's what we need. We need a good damage dealer that can kill Selene. That also doesn't care too much about Alaya. Hmm. This is where Fire Ilanov would be great. I don't think... I think mine is built, but I don't think she's built very well is the issue. So... Do we still try it? We can still try it, I guess. We can still do it. Let's ban the uh, let's ban the Genoa. Let's go for Fire Ilanov here, because he has two Earth units, and we have Dragon King Shrewd to stop the stun stuns from uh, and sleeps from DDR and A Tywin. I think there's a chance. Oh no, he's gonna ban. You're really gonna ban the almost ungeared Fire Ilanov? All right. Well, we have uh, we have Abigail and. Um, Lionheart, so I guess we got what we wanted. Uh, Politis can give attack to the team. Do we really want that? I guess a bit of attack couldn't hurt. Probably better if, uh, if we stayed alive, though. Let's, let's do self-HP imprint. It'd be better if we stayed alive. Yeah. Abigail protects the back line, so Lionheart's good. Let's give it a shot. This makes it so I actually don't really care about popping the S3. In fact, I'm gonna do it just because my Lionheart gets to proc off of this Selene. We're still hoping on a creation and destruction uh, proc here. Alright, he's going for the Abigail. That's actually not good. That's like the last unit I wanted him to go for here. Speed down the A Tywin's decent though. Hopefully, hopefully he doesn't crit the Abigail. If he does, we're in a bit of trouble. I'm just waiting. He has Soulburn too. Like, he could gamble. Oh, uh, did he go for it? He did go for it. Oh no, he didn't go for it. <gasps> Sharoon! Oh, that's really bad. Oh, that is really, really bad. Alright, we might actually be dead now. We might actually be dead now. Thankfully we crit. Um, can I can I just please kill please kill the Selene? Oh, thank god we killed the Selene. Okay, because now at the very least, if he dual attacks with Lion, there's not a chance that Selene's gonna kill us. We're gonna get defense broken, we're gonna be screwed over here. We really need what Lion to duh. Oh, never what? Oh. Never mind guys, we're good. We we worried for absolutely no reason. It's fine. It's all okay. Let's go for the Laya, injury her down as soon as possible. What was I even worried about? Look at that. Beautiful stuff. Sweet miracle procs. It's all good. That means on later turns we can actually start controlling him. He's gonna push up his team. It's okay. He does have the chance to actually um, control my Lionheart Sermia. As long as he doesn't dual attack, he's fine. The lion's gonna dual attack, so we might be okay. We'll see. Everyone's put to sleep. Abigail is not in, uh, doesn't have the Venom. That's good. I don't want her to get injured down. I don't want anyone to, but out of all units, I want Abigail to stay nice and healthy here. He's gonna have to dual attack and proc the Lionheart. If we were on Durandal, we would be in a much safer position, but I, di I did want to be funny and try creation destruction. So come on. You know you want to proc it. Come on, Lionheart, you got this. We're gonna proc creation and destruction, right? Right? <laughs> DDR is gonna put the the um, Sermia to sleep again. Oh shoot, we got provoked. All right? Well, that's not great. The only good thing here is that we do have uh, we still have the rage buffs. So we will dual attack with Lionheart at the very least. Or never mind, we won't. We won't dual attack with anybody. That's not good. Oh, and he resisted us. Oh yeah, we might actually be screwed here. Because if his Laya can, if his Laya can turn cycle, he just needs one more turn. If his Laya can turn cycle here, we're gonna be in very big trouble. He can kill the Lionheart. Or can he? We have Abigail. We do have Abigail. Oh shoot, he's noticed. He's gonna focus down the Abigail here. That is not great. Not great at all. A Talon's also stripping away all our souls. No, um, no provoke at the very least. Can we get rid of that effectiveness buff from you? There we go, finally. Right, he does have an S1. He can soul burn it. He can't kill Abigail with this S1 though. He's gonna try. D didn't kill, that's good. This is really good. Because now Laya, when she has threes, uh, we, he won't actually be able to just kill the Lionheart here. He won't be able to kill Lion. He's gonna go for it, but he won't kill the Lionheart. There we go. Very nice. Um, 
Let us go for a hit on... We gotta kill this DDR. We really just gotta kill this DDR. No might proc either. Okay, we have an S3, so Vampirism is gonna kick in. We're gonna do a lot of damage here. Please kill the A-Town and the DDR. That's all we need! Come on, Lionheart! Oh, look at that. With the Lifesteal set on her, she healed pretty much back up to full. Absolutely beautiful. We can also push back the Lion with this. Hopefully put speed down, and then should be able to lap with the Politus. That was a close one. Abigail actually saved us here. 100% she saved us here because... Um, otherwise, Lyo would have been able to kill the Lionheart. He should have went into the Abigail, but even if he did that, I don't know if he would have had it. If he killed the Abigail and took an extra turn, right, Lionheart would still be alive. Don't know. I don't know. But all I know is that Abigail did good work there. Great work, in fact. So, very nice. Let's go into another one. This is not really what I expected with using Abigail. I'm using a very aggressive team, right? Kind of uh, aggressive with the debuffs here with Dragon King Sharoon, have them all Politus as a fast opener, kind of have stuff to set up, and we definitely abused our opponent's Selene, right? The Selene was there with that extra attack that actually allowed me to proc the Lionheart. Otherwise, I would have just had to wait for my opponent to dual attack me, and good luck having that happen. Oh, this guy actually bans Ilanov. First pick- oh man, first pick a Tywin's everywhere, guys. Okay. First pick a Tywin. Uh, again, ML Politus is kind of free right now, so let's just go for an ML Politus. Uh, if he wants to pick Selene, he could pick Selene into me. I think I'm okay with that. Let's not pick Lionheart or anything here. If he wants to pick Selene, who do we want to go for? Dragon King Shroon is still a good ban protect unit, I'd say. What do we go for into an A Tywin? I don't want an early Sylvan Sage pick, that's kinda bad. Who would be pretty decent into a first pick A Tywin? Kinda tough, isn't it? Kinda tough. I could go for some damage mitigation, I could go for something like LRK. Let's just let's do it. Let's go for something like LRK. Immunity buffer, right? I mean, if they go for DDR, so be it. We'll go Dragon King Sharoon. Haven't picked LRK in a very, very long time. He's also on the Lifesteal build. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, he's not going for DDR. Okay. Blood Moon Haze, perfectly fine by me. Let's go for... Um, Pera as well. Ooh, Dragon King Sharoon's gonna have a hard time against Pera, right? That's gonna be a tough time against Pera, because we, we have a uh, Restrict on us. So we won't be able to push our team, or push ourselves up. Para is rough, but DJB could do it. DJB can definitely do this. Do we want to go DJB though? I'm a Politus, LRK, DJB, it just doesn't leave us too much flexibility in our draft. I guess we have to, we're just gonna go for it. Alright, DJB, but then who would be our damage dealer? Who would be a damage dealer into stuff like this? I'm using Lionheart Sermia quite a bit, but I don't think she's the play here. Sylvan Sage still the answer? I think Sylvan Sage is probably still a good answer here. Pretty decent to the A Tywin and Para, no debuffs on us. Blood Moon Haste can't really do all that much. Knockwall can't do much here either if he goes for Knockwall. Yeah, anything with debuffs would not really impact my Sylvan Sage here. He's gonna go Bihu. Can't really burn Sylvan Sage. I think we're fine. I think we're okay. Would a spe Ooh, hang on. Would a Spectre Tenebria work here? Hang on just a second. Would a Spectre Tenebria work here? She might. Abigail definitely wouldn't, because for Abigail to work, I would probably need to replace LRK, because he can ban Sylvan Sage. Abigail LRK is not killing this team ever. So we're gonna have to go for something like a Spectre Tenebria and ban the uh, DDR. I think that's the best play. That's the best play here. Basically, Para. Ooh! He bans him a Politus. Okay, I mean. Hey, look at this, guys. It's the old uh, it's the old meta, right? LRK Stene meta. This is great. I love it. DJB does not need the effect resist imprint. Let's HP imprint for the whole team. Okay. Uh, LRK doesn't need the crit chance imprint. 
No, we're good, we're good. All right, DJB just providing everybody with some uh, extra health. Because even without the imprint, we're back down to like 250 resist, I think, something like that. And Hira does not have enough to debuff with. Yes, and nowhere close. In fact, he just gave us a free barrier. He didn't really do much with that S2. Stuns the LRK, that's fine. He's not going to go for an S3, because he doesn't want DJB to barrier invert. Push up the A Tywin, DJB. Okay, this is cool. So we can DJB cleanse here, push up the entire team. And now we're vulnerable to more damage, more crit damage at least on DJB, but I think we'll be fine. I could go for an S3, but I really don't want to kill anyone here besides Blood Moon Haste. We're going to focus down the Blood Moon Haste. We're going to S3 with LRK as well, get that immunity replenished again. Not that we really need it. A Tywin can't do anything here. Blood Moon Haste, he can. Blood Moon Haste can actually do stuff like that. But we have resist on us, so we're good. Let's go for an S3 onto the Blood Moon Haste. Hopefully this stuns. He usually only has about 100 resistance, so Spectre has 30 effectiveness. Nope, not, not this time, but it's fine. We're getting stacks of her passive. That's all we really need right now. He can strip the Sylvan Sage. Oh, he, oh but actually, nope, never mind. Yeah, we 15% of that too. That's good, so he doesn't heal his whole team back up to full. Right, trying to chip away at DJB is perfectly fine by me. Sylvan Sage is an S3 that can heal. I'm just a little afraid to use it because I don't want him to, uh... I don't want him to get his Blood Moon Haste going. If Blood Moon Haste gets his buff, we're in a little bit of trouble. Oh, we resisted again! Wow, very unlucky for him there. See what he goes for. Oh, chipping away at the Sylvan Sage. Okay. Let's chip away at the A Tywin. There we go. Got the speed buff. Okay. Spectre. Spectre. Oh, yeah. Hang on just a second. I didn't put Bulk on Spectre, did I? Yeah, my Spectre is actually... If you notice, she, she's not on Bulk. I think she's still on Chatty. I was using her on Chatty for a little bit to test it out against uh, AoE teams. So this is probably not the best time to have Chatty. I'd probably prefer Bulk to be able to be able to really deal damage to this Blood Moon Haste. Oh, but he's gonna go for the Sylvan Sage. He ignored Rez. Okay, gonna go ahead and proc our Chatty. He's healing up his team and that's perfectly fine. Let's go for a stun. Oh, beautiful. We actually got it. Sylvan Sage could heal though. Let's go for an S3. Hopefully it doesn't kill anybody. If it does, we're kind of screwed. But we have like two attack buff stacks. Oh yeah, very nice. Very nice. A Tywin didn't die. That's huge. Because I just need to kill this Blood Moon Haze first. That's the main thing. The bad thing is, um, LRK might not have a choice. No matter who I hit, I think he's absorbing damage. Right? Oh, whoa, this Beagle actually has enough effectiveness. Alright, yeah, this, this, I died. Oh, he didn't! That's huge. That's huge that he didn't die. I really wanted to make sure he didn't die there. That is fine. Perfectly fine. Alright, does he have it? He has his S3! Uh-oh, this is bad. We're about to get defense broken. And stunned. Okay. Not great. DJB couldn't do anything there because uh, A Tywin ignores Rez because of his rage buff. So we didn't have time to put up our immunity. He can try to kill DJB. Oh, no, never mind. He's just going to heal up again. Get into the LRK. Oh, he's going to go for the S2. Okay. Not Again, not great for us right now, but just have to hang in there. We're gonna go for the DJB. Bihu, please. There's no way you're like... Oh, he might be really high affecting this Bihu, though. Look at that. Oh, he's got it! Wow, that is terrible! That is terrible! It's a super high affecting this Bihu, because he has like 12k health. Okay, well, Spectre with the unbuffable is also really bad right now. And Tywin's making sure that we can't ever get souls. Para gets the escort buff. This is terrible. This is so bad. I can't believe we're about to lose this one. I like the guild name, though. I just noticed. Seven, E711. It's great. All right, Bihu's going to put on buffable again. Yeah, no, unbuffable is huge. It is definitely going to cause us to die here. LRK is dead. Sylvan Sage is going to be the last line of defense we have. The unfortunate thing is we can't kill this Blood Moon Haze. We just don't have the burst. 
And he keeps, look at this, he keeps healing. God, I hate this unit so much. This unit is so stupid. Oh, look at that, it's so ridiculous. Okay, um, the good thing is we have Chatty, so we should be able to uh, get a little barrier here when he attacks us. Alright, won't get any burns, that's good, good barrier, nice. Uh, a Tywin, good, no S3, so Spectre can still probably take a turn, I'm hoping. Yeah, we have an S3 with uh, Spectre. Alright, Restrict, Unbuffable, not the greatest. It's an attack buff for everybody again. Oh no, this Blood Moon Haste, I'm hoping he doesn't. Oh, does he? Okay, thank god. Um, just break the barrier, please. Okay, good. So that means Blood Moon Haste can heal himself with Celestine, but there's no strip. Yeah, see, there's no strip. Okay, great. Um, we're still dead, though. I don't think there's any way we can do this. There's no way. There's absolutely no way. So... We're gonna have to kill here. Hopefully this pushes people back. We just need to buy time for Sylvan Sage Vivian to, to kind of lap around. Oh, speed buff not enough. A Tywin's still gonna hit us. No chatty yet. Can we sur please survive the Para? Please survive the Para. No, we didn't survive the Para! Oh, we were about to get an S3 and we would have probably actually had it if we got that S3. Yeah, no, that's terrible. That sucks. Uh, <laughs> I can't believe we lost that. Um, one of the main things was I didn't switch my Spectre. I was playing Arena with her and I had her on Chatty. Forgot to switch her over, so it is my fault. I can't really blame my opponent for that. If we had the Soul Burns, I think we would have been able to kill the Blood Moon Haste much earlier. For sure. But man, that Blood Moon Haste countering so many times. I understand I got the 15%. Right? Like, two times, I think, with the, um, Sylvan Sage Vivian. But, oh my god, the fact that he gets to just keep healing that absurd amount every time was ridiculous. Quite unfortunate. Really want to see the LRK Spectre team get a little bit of a comeback here. Alright, but let's do one more. One last one. Do we do it, guys? Do we ban the Blood Moon Haste? Would I rather fight ML Luna than Blood Moon Haste? Probably at this point. Let's do it. Knockle Band, ML Politis Band. Great, he's gonna start with ML Luna, because she's off the ban list. Yeah, there you go. So, how do we fight the ML Luna here? No Politis, actually this is fine. We could go for like Ocean Breeze Lulica too. That's a pretty fun one. So, we can do... Ooh, a Tywin's still fine. Let's go a Tywin. A Tywin and... You can't even Selene a team like this, which is crazy. Um, Zeo doesn't work either. Oh boy. Oh boy. I want a cleanser. I want a cleanser really, really bad. This started off as an Abigail video and it ended up with me just dying to like a Para in 2024. So that kind of sucked. And Blood Moon Haste, honestly, just being a menace. What do we do? A Tywin DDR? I don't think I want to do a DDR here. Ocean Breeze Lulica seems really good. Um... Nothing stopping us going DDR and Ocean Breeze Lulica, so let's go for it. Nothing stopping us from banning the Luna anyway, either. The good thing about letting Luna off the ban list, actually, is that... you They're typically picked first, so you, you do have a chance to ban pretty easily, right? They're, ne they're never ban protecting the ML Luna, she'll never get to that stage. Okay, Selene's picked up... Dragon Brides... or not Dragon Brides... Empyrean Illinois picked up. What do we want to do into this? Do we go Alencia? Would Alencia be funny? She'd probably die. That's the main thing about Alencia. She still just straight up dies to stuff like Selene. If there's heavy damage on the other side, you need a lot of mitigation. We can do Ocean Breeze Luluka. We can do... Yeah, there's no one that can really help us here. We'll go Ocean Breeze Luluka. We'll go... Ugh. Lionheart Sermia? We at least get defense buff with the Lionheart. We get to proc Lionheart when Selene goes. Maybe it's an Abigail game? I don't know. I 
feel like it isn't though, because if he bans Lionheart, we're screwed, right? So we can't pick Abigail here either. See what I mean by it's kind of tough to slot her in? Um, yeah, it's just it's kind of tough to slot her in. All right, we're just gonna have to pick another unit at the very end who can deal with this. Oh shoot, there's a Genoa too. We can't ban the new Moon Luna. We have no way of of killing this Genoa here. Or no way of really safely doing so, I should say. I think Sylvan Sage Vivian's still great here. Let's go for Sylvan Sage Vivian. I think I have to ban this. At the very least, we have Ocean Breeze Lulica for the new Moon Luna. Uh, if we do cleanse and proc and stuff, Selene will attack us. But I think with an Ice Cream buff, we should be good. A Tywin's banned out, but Selene ignored damage share anyway, I believe. So it doesn't really matter all that much. We'll have, we'll have two Soul Weavers, two DPSs. I think that's good. I'm a little bit worried about the Ida, honestly. That is something I'm dreading right now, is fighting this Ida. Okay. Do we need the Effect Res? I don't think so. No, we don't need the Effect Res. Uh, mostly because New Moon Luna, if she starts out, she's going to ignore Res Soulburn anyway if she decides to S3. If she doesn't S3, Lulika doesn't need to do anything. We'll see. Come on now, you know you want to. You know you want to. She's not, whoa, 26 kHP on Maluna, not actually that fast. She's about my DDR speed, 260 something speed. Okay, that's fine actually. Um, do I want to just do this? I think I just want to pop everything. I think I do. I think I just want to pop everything. As long as he doesn't hit and kill my DDR with Celine, I'm fine. Okay, Sylvan Sage is good. That's good. The procs are chatty. We get a Lionheart proc. That's nice. Beautiful. Get to push up our team here. Boom. Right? Beautiful stuff. Selene still gets to go. I don't think she can kill Ocean Breeze. Oh no, she might. Yikes, if she soul burns this, I think she can kill either of my soul weavers. I think he's killing Ocean Breeze Lulika. Please don't, though. No, it's 100% gonna kill. Alright, that's fantastic. Alright, so we gotta just go for it. Rip the S3. I know defense penetration on this is uh, gonna do less damage because the Ilanov is there. Actually, way less damage because that Ilanov is there. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Alright, we gotta go for... It doesn't really matter what we go for. We're still kind of screwed, aren't we? Because this Luna is gonna screw us over. Okay, let's go for the S3. Just kind of dump all our damage into this team. Come on, help, please. Please kill the Ida so we don't get defense broken. There we go. Beautiful stuff. All right. Numa Luna can still S3. And if she does, she's going to seal the... Um, she's going to seal our Lionheart, which is not great. But at least Sylvan Sage can't be sealed here. So if she S3s, it's fine. Yep, there we go. DDR is still alive, and we have Potion Vial, so we should be able to cleanse a little bit. Oh, nice. Cleanse the seal. No, not the one on yourself, you dummy. Okay, let's go for the Ilanov. Probably got to DPS her down soon. Ooh, we could actually Soul Burn this. I don't know if I really want to here, though. Let's go for that. Fine heart goes. Let's go for an S1. Oh, so close. Look at that damage. So close. Luna can now S2. I think this is probably a Luna built to just bruise, right? She's uh, very, very tanky. She scales with her HP, so he's probably using her as like a S2 machine with Rocket Punch Gauntlet. She might be on Etika Scepter, I don't know. Okay, Defense Break means that we're probably dead to Selene. Yep. Yes, indeed. Oh, rest in peace, Lionheart. Alright, the good thing is, Luna doesn't have any of her skills yet. No S2, no S3, so she'll S1 on the next turn. DDR should be able to kill... Oh, don't tell me you kill. Oh, good, he's going for the... He's going for Ilanov. So we at least have a barrier. He's healing, too, which is not great. Oh my god, the resistance on this thing! My DDR is about 150 uh, effectiveness here. This is bad. His S2... Oh, thank god he actually didn't go onto the uh, Sylvan Sage. S2 onto Sylvan Sage would have been terrible. Alright, let's go for this. Good, good damage. Luna will kill DDR, unfortunately. 
Oh, please don't hit the Vivian. Oh, shoot. He knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. Oh, no. He has another Etika Scepter. Oh, shoot, guys. Yeah, it's pretty much over. That is unfortunate. But you know what? Sometimes it happens. It's all good. Hey, wait a minute. Isn't this the Korean player we fought at the beginning who banned my Abigail? Shame on this guy. Shame on him.